Daniel. Hey. How's it going? Good. How are you? Pretty good. All right. So I guess um, I'd like to talk with the Arcturian Council. Okay. Later. Sounds good. <clears throat> I really appreciate all that you do and. Uh, Thanks. The videos you put out and the messages. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, here I go. <clears throat> questions I'm going to ask. We are aware of the energy signature that you are. We check in on every single one of you who is receiving our messages, but you are always unpredictable to us in the sense that we do not know the precise future that you are going to choose for yourself. Now, you have been incarnate in our star system, and during that time, we were not in the same dimension as you, but you were connecting to us through channeling yourself. So you have channeled us before. That's very interesting. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, what's the difference between channeling and telepathy? Well, it's very similar. With telepathy, you're working with another being in your dimension who shares a similar space that you share, similar density, and 
usually is someone that you know. With uh, channeling, you are reaching up to uh, a higher dimensional plane for that telepathic experience. But it is very similar in that you're really linking consciousness to consciousness and having an experience of downloading the same thoughts at the same time. Okay. Well, not really sure exactly where I want to go with this, but um, for, I think I've heard on in the past or I've read that extraterrestrials have been um, protecting the Earth from uh, nuclear warfare. Um, would you agree with that? And um, I guess I'd like to hear your thoughts. Yes. You are protected because of the implications of a nuclear war on the rest of the galaxy. Okay. Um, because you would be affecting so many other beings besides yourselves, it is prevented from occurring. Okay. Um, I guess I was wondering, is there, are, are there many beings watching, I mean, from, <clears throat> from what I um, have read, and there are many beings watching or the Earth right now, and I guess yeah. sending their love and support and trying to um, assist uh, humanity at this time. Yes, you are correct. So, would the same? Would they be trying to protect the Earth in general? I mean, like from. I was wondering about like climate change. No, that's something where you're left to your own devices to learn from your own mistakes. Okay. Um, in the future, will they, there be? technology that will assist us in yes. reversing that? Yes. Okay. And ultimately it will be the shifting of the consciousness of humanity that will bring about the change in the weather conditions and temperature and other aspects, but you'll use technology to clean up the mess that you've made. I was also wondering, um, telekinesis will be possible as well or would there be technology yes. similar to that where you can like pick up trash for example yes okay yes indeed um i guess i had a one question about um my brother um i was wondering um it seems like he's been having some issues with um drugs and alcohol and I was wondering if you could give me some advice on that. Well, he is one who is very sensitive and therefore is using the substances to self-medicate. So the best thing that you could do for him would be to hold space for him to process the energies and emotions that he has to process on his own, that he cannot avoid with drugs and alcohol. They will just delay the process. And so any time that you are connecting with him, you will want to attempt to have a deeper conversation about what's going on beyond his drug and alcohol use, what he's feeling, and help him to realize that you sometimes have the same feelings and that it's normal to feel that way that it's normal to have anxiety and fear and anger and all these emotions. And we can talk in uh, a way that you know you can reach him 
to help him to identify what he's feeling and just not as someone who is uh, obviously trying to be his therapist, but someone who's concerned. Yeah, um, I appreciate that. Um, do you know, I mean, I don't want to get too much into his business, but do you know one area that I could um, maybe try to know more about to help them? Well, you want it to come from him not from us. So ultimately that would be better for you to receive it directly from him. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Um, I was kind of curious about what will, um, video games and sort of computer technology will be like in, I guess the not too distant future. Well, it will be more about, preparing yourselves for experiences with extraterrestrial beings. So as you have a type of video simulation of what that will be like to visit another world or to be on a ship or to be meeting beings who look very different from you for the first time, as you have that experience, you will... Um, recognize that uh, there are things that you will want to be prepared for and the simulation in the game can help you to prepare for the feelings that will come up and the uh, strangeness of the new environments that you will be uh, visiting. Okay. Um, would you say that the crystals are connected their consciousness so if you hold one crystal you can um, connect with I guess their all of them okay yes was the yes. best way to I guess utilize that or um, tapping into that energy well if there's a particular piece of information that you would like to know about and you hold a crystal that any crystal that is a part of that consciousness that may contain that piece of information can relay it to the crystal that you're holding and then you can absorb it through your consciousness. Okay. Um, what are some good um, grounding, te <clears throat> grounding techniques to um, ground to the earth? or um, if you could maybe help me in that sort of area? Well, first you want to feel grounded in your physical body. So you want to feel that you are aware of all of the cells in your physical body. If you attempt to be aware of all cells in your physical body at once, that's the quickest way for you to feel grounded because even though that sounds like a Herculean task just your intention to be aware of them all will place your full consciousness in your physical body and then to ground to the earth there are several really effective techniques sitting uh, with your back up against a tree uh, and your bottom on the ground, and of course your entire lower half touching the ground. Laying on the earth, you can have a, a sheet or a blanket underneath you if you like, but if you lay directly on the earth and feel the weight of your body being supported by her, just standing barefoot, and gripping the grass or dirt or sand with your toes and feeling roots growing from the centers of your feet into the ground. That's another way to feel more grounded to her. Okay. Um, I guess I was wondering, how can I... Um enjoy my life more and 
um, I guess, have a better perspective or um, in regard to work, because uh, sometimes it's a little bit challenging, to say the least, I guess. Yes. Well, you have to look at work as a choice that you're making. You have to see it as not something you have to do, but something that you choose to do to be a part of the system that you're in. Because really, no one is stopping you from uh, going out into the woods and uh, living in a cave or a tent or something and uh, eating what you can find and catch and so as you recognize that you do have options but this work is something you choose because you want to have the money to pay for the roof over your head and the ease with which you can then have food and other comfort items and you see it as a choice in that regard, then you can drop some of that resistance that you have to it. Now also recognize that just because it's something that you're doing that is a bit uh, boring at times or tedious and not very exciting, that the energy you bring to it will affect the result that you get out of it. So if you have to spend some time in the morning before you go to work getting into the right frequency state where you're bringing joy and excitement to your work, then that would certainly be more of the uh, energy that you would get out of it. Okay. Um, I guess I was wondering a little bit about um, relationships and the, I guess the, the twin flame and um, if um, what sort of timelines I guess are for seeking a relationship um, with someone special. Well, what type of timeline are you looking at? Well, I guess finding a girlfriend. Yes, and what is your desired amount of time that would elapse between now and then? Um, that's a good question. Um, maybe a year or more, I don't know. And why do you need that much time? Well, I guess um, it just feels like something I need to work with, um, or I don't know, just the idea of it seems a little daunting at times. But Which aspect of it? Finding the girlfriend or keeping the girlfriend? Um, I guess maybe finding one, but um, I guess... Would you mind if we switch topics? No, not at all. Okay. Um, would you... Are there any particular... Um, any uh, information that you would recommend for um, me to take a look at or to research on my own time? Or s I know there's a whole bunch of messages out there. Well, certainly the more that you explore the information that you can that is known about the ancient Egyptians and that Egyptian empire, we feel that just by doing your research on what that life was like for them and uh, what the different theories are about uh, how the Egyptians became so powerful and then 
venturing off into the more spiritual and new age uh, philosophies about Egypt will help you to remember more of your lifetimes there and give you that sense of who you were and what you did and what types of beings you interacted with. Okay. Um, I think our time is about up, but I want to say um, thank you very much for connecting with me and I appreciate the messages uh, that you send out and, and all the help that you give to me and uh, humanity. You're very welcome. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Thank you very much, Daniel. I appreciate it. Yes, you're welcome. Have a good day. Thanks. You too. Mm -hmm.